Jamie. And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. Lauren, as the morning bells are going off, pretty cute. That bridge during the day. They've been going off for like a solid 10 minutes at least. What if I can see them? Wow, well, they're ringing the crap out of them. Because we rode it. What's the name of this lookout, do you know? Brown, not Brown. Mount Brown. And that's the town. The name of the town? York. York. York is the town. Represent. Look out of the next town. We're in Northern. Northern. There's a Woolworths and a Bonnings here. Oh, civilization. Tempting. They don't exactly close it, do they? It looks like it gets better further up. The start's pretty trash though. Look at that confidence, you're like, ah, trust in this dodgy bridge is so low. It looks like it's mainly good though. Oh, they probably broke the uh, thing for it. Yeah. It's fairly thick wood. Yeah, it definitely looks like it gets even sketchier. Particularly when it's over the water. Well, this is, this is the island. There's a... I saw it on the drone. Yeah, there's a there's an island you can't get to. Oh, it looks mangled. Yeah, so we're at the new place.
Don't know. Oh, that's definitely the bit you do not want to cross, eh? Hey? It's missing wood pieces. That's cool, it's left here though. We're camping just up there. This is a Cybertronic horse. I was thinking about kayaking this river. I definitely wouldn't have even thought to look ahead. That would have sucked. It's just like down, speeds you up straight into the rocks. Oh, bits of sticks and shit. Let's see where it keeps going. Solid. Probably solid enough. Alright, I think that's it. Look at those chairs. I'm guessing it doesn't usually have this much water. So we have this awkward moment. This is the uh, the alarm for the bike. I threw it to Nay across two lanes of ro road and she almost caught it. <laughs> Hit the ground and apparently now it's broken. I don't understand how because like the case is still okay and the stuff inside's pretty, you know, isolated. But yeah, I guess, I guess it's gone. Tried changing the batteries. So now I have the uh, hard thing to do of trying to take the motorbike off without setting the alarm off, because the alarm's activated at the moment. This is how tied up it is. If I just bump it slightly, the alarm goes off. <sighs> Got headphones. So today, we just made it to 2DA. <laughs> today, 2DA. 2DA! Now we're just in a little, little shop. Oh my God, that's dirty. Okay. Yeah. Sorry and This is two yay. It's pretty quaint. Look at the box. It's got a door. Ooh, a door. For when you want to do water crossings that aren't that much deeper than your bonnet, but still deeper than your bonnet. <laughs> so we just got to cobbler pool with it. Yeah, it's it looks really nice. Still don't know about the whole kayaking because it's pretty quick moving and we totally wouldn't be able to get back. Get Unless we going. bike up, kayak back, and unicycle to the kayak. But yeah, this is pretty weird. So there's lampposts here and we're in the middle of like nowhere. I don't know. And they have power points on them. So that would be interesting to see if they've actually got power to them. Yeah. It's a bit of a hill coming down with like them puddles, but we might be able to get down here. We'll suss it out. It's very nice around here. We might stay three days. We're only thinking like maybe one or two, but 
I think three might be better because there's a lot of a lot of riding abilities. The lady said the uh, the lights don't work and the power points probably don't do. It kind of makes sense. We're in the middle of nowhere. I can't even believe they have lights here. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very beautiful. We might have to park somewhere here that's getting as maximum sunlight as possible. But yeah, it looks good. Look at how wide this river is here. Like you could probably see it on the drone. Ages. So uh, moved up. And it is nice to be back on the bike. Woo! How I've missed it. Adventure awaits. And I'll be going around. Get out the river. Oh no, I need to accelerate a little further. <laughs> there it is. Look at these rocks getting ploughed by the water. It would be pretty fun coming down here. It's the so big cool. donuts. And you'd be like, get distracted and just fly into the distance and be like, wow, check where we are. Like, oh my gosh, a 40k walk back. <laughs> Looking pretty cool. What's the name of these falls? Emu Falls. Emu falls. That's the one. You can't get here with the car. You can get a bike around, but it's kind of like, they've sort of like fenced the, this whole road off for some reason, I don't know why. But um, yeah, you can definitely get a bike around. But yeah, if you've got a car, you have to walk it. Look at all these suds. Look at these suds. I was just saying an A, and she was definitely agreeing. Look how much these trees in the water, like, I wonder what level of level the water's usually at. If it's usually a little stream, or if it's dry. totally dried up. Cause like, there's no way there's those trees are gonna survive just this water all the time. <laughs> Apparently there was a river crossing here that you could drive across. I don't know, probably shouldn't try and ride across that. I don't even know where the road is. I think it was originally here. Maybe once upon a time. <laughs> oh yeah. Finger up. There you go. Just keep that finger up until you're ready to shoot. Yep. Look through there. You can adjust this if you need to. If you see it right. Oh, yeah. 
maybe head closer to me. Try and get the rope there. Looking through the thing, yeah, you kind of got to like line it up a little bit. No, there's no So we met some people and we had a bit of a yak. They had a had a couple of guns, had some fun. It was good. Check out this little place. Oh, a little river crossing. How adorable. How deep is it? Oh, I don't think it's too deep. It's kind of hard to see. Are oh, you ready? No, stay on. Let's drop. Oh, it doesn't really go anywhere, does it? <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if I can jump that. Just stay on. Look at that view. Look at all the suds. Today wants a bit of the night in and I feel like hanging out with those guys a bit more so I'm gonna go hang out with some people. What is that? What is that? And um, yeah, because I feel like it's pretty rare when you meet people you get on well with. I mean, I know it's like right at the start of the trip, but it's, it is pretty rare to meet people, even like in the similar sort of age bracket. Everyone else is usually like, you know, grey nomads. Not everyone, but a lot of them. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go catch up with now. I got the unicycle. Gonna, I got the Serrant on charge. So um, they said they might be going hunting tonight. So hopefully I can uh, tag along with that. Should be good. Either way. Uh, Possibly film a little bit. I'll see. I don't know how good the night out on this camera is either. So maybe see you later. <laughs> oh, he's not. Is he bottomed out? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a diff. Sounded a bit rough. Heading home after catching up with them. It was pretty cool meeting them. Meeting them. They, uh, yeah, had the, like, the hunting dogs and such. It was pretty cool seeing it all. Did not catch a pig. And uh, one of the guys got pretty bogged. But yeah, pretty entertaining nonetheless. It was good to meet some new people.